Hello again everybody and welcome once again to Tony Hawk's American Wasteland in the last episode. I already totally forgot. Alright. Well, stuff happens, I'm sure. So, let's go ahead and jump in Iggy's truck that we're stealing from him while he's in jail. And we're going to head over to Santa Monica, most likely, I think it was. Yes, it was. Ah ha ha. I know what's going on in the video, because I watched it like three times, so yay! Yay for knowing what's going on! Woohoo! Okay, anyway, not to sound like a drunken bastard, we're gonna... Hey, tough guy. Yeah, you hey, tough guy! Out and I'll help yous out? I got this freaking idiot boss. I'm telling you, the guy just graduated from jerk school. He wants me to demo these stairs here on my lunch break. So here's the deal. You knock down these stairs here, and I'll get him to that skate ranch right on the company dime. Yeah, I'm down for it. Here's what you do. The salt air's done most of the work, rusting out them bolts and such. You just gotta clear the stairs and land at the bottom with a big bang. Bada bing. And try doing an impossible while you're at it. Yes, our awesome friend who... Our awesome greedy friend, Joey B, who we meet again. Anyway, um... So I guess... I mean, obviously, yeah, this challenge is pretty easy. You just have to do an impossible over the staircase, which the easiest, the way that you pretty much have to do it is you have to, uh, I'll say it in a second. Yeah, that got him started, but keep at it. Try doing it three more times. As you can see, uh, the easiest way to do it is you have to do the, you have to pull off the, the boneless, um, a little late, like, while you're kind of, while you're in midair. Like, like kind of, yeah, like really late, almost until you can't possibly do it and just hit the ground. Like, kind of at the last second is when you have to do it like that. And I, I don't know, these challenges were not very well designed at all, if you ask me. Um, for things like that, where, where you, you know, where they kind of say, yeah, you almost had it, but we're going to count it anyway. Because we made the challenge so unrealistic to begin with you know we didn't make your jump nearly long big you know yeah we didn't make your jump nearly high enough to clear the stairs like that there you go that thing's swaying more than me after happy hour at the donkey punch brew house okay now try one last big one this time do a 360 impossible over it and in this challenge um in this particular challenge is kind of dumb too because you're death you're technically doing a 360 boneless with an impossible not actually doing a 360 impossible over it look at you you're like a skating god yeah, i figured it would have taken you at least eight or three more times eight or three more times i'll get my boys to back up the truck and take this to the skate ranch after my lunch you freaking jerk that's always a great line. After my lunch break, you freaking jerk! I thought that was great. And now we're gonna talk to. We're gonna, now we're gonna t go out of sequence and talk to hey one man, of Alva's posse's. Yeah, I want to talk to Tony Alva. Yeah, and I want a diamond in my front tooth, but that ain't happening either. Come on, man. Ta, don't just talk to anyone. You show me you can shred, then I'll see what I can do. Let's see if you can gap from this planner to that one without touching the ground. It's kind of funny because they kind of sort of referenced Tony Alva earlier in the game with um, that gap that you um, of doing the manual on the Walk of Fame or whatever. I thought that was, I just thought that was kind of a weird reference, if you will. Try getting up here without touching the ground around the theater. I think it was called the Tony the Tony Gap or whatever. Yeah. Nice work, kid. I don't know though. I guess I might tell Alva about you. Oh, thanks. See you around then. And this is proof that this guy's a jerk. Hey, kid, wait. He waits until after my character leaves to finally say, "Oh, you have to come tell over here what? now." You reach me without touching the ground. I will definitely talk to Alva about you. And he cheats right there, if you noticed. Where he, like, touched the ground or whatever. 
but you know, I guess he's the one um, giving out the challenge, not necessarily doing it. So whatever. Yeah! Oh man, I'ma call you Gnarly Charlie. I'll for sure put the word in with Alva for you. And also another sign that the game was not very polished at all is that in the subtitle box, um, you saw the word with twice. That shows you how great, how very well done this game was and, you know, how probably, yeah, probably how much Activision ruined this game. Hey there. Hey, you following me? Maybe, maybe not. Or maybe I'm just scoping out new stuff we can get for the skate ranch. See anything you like? Yeah, I see something. That shark head over there. Oh. That, yeah, oh yeah, no, I, I saw that too. Uh, that'd be righteous if we could finagle that thing. We know what you were thinking. Yeah, it would. You should use that kicker next to me to acid drop on top of the head to get it loose. Well, look at you all busting out the skater lingo. Don't forget who styled you out with half the tricks you know. Now get your cocky butt up there. Ha, <laughs> cocky butt. That's kind of like a counterpart joke or something. Or some sort of thing like that. Now stall on the nose a few times. I can see it breaking away. It's like get. It's like saying, "Oh, get your salty, peppery, f hair, peppered hair out of my face," or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you would call that. There's probably a term for it where you kind of. It's not really irony, but it's like something that kind of works hand in hand. Snack attack! Good job. Now go look for some more stuff. I'll call Murphy and get him to hook me up with a truck to get this to the ranch. I'm sure he knows a guy. I'm not sure. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what I'm not sure what that is, but what that would be called. What's up, homie? I hear you're looking to talk to Tony Alba. Yeah. Check it out. He's trying to surf, but some lame valley skags are out there cutting in on his waves. I tricked out that telescope there, so now it's a teleslingshot. Oh, that's wicked. See if you can take out those kooks. I'd do it, but I'd totally wreck my thumbs playing a marathon session of Thug 2, you know what I'm saying, bro? More breaking of the fourth wall. How awesome. Alright, so yeah, obviously there's a lot of... I really was really... Uh, I was really anxious I guess to move on further on in the story of the game or with the mission so I wasn't really wasting time so I'm not really having a lot to talk I'm not really getting an opportunity to talk about anything really score you just earned some major points with Alba dude I'll definitely make sure he knows you brought him out brah since we won't be seeing them again you should totally take this telescope back to the skate ranch bro which I'm sure you guys like him for them that not having to hear me talk or whatever but you know for me it's kind of difficult but you know that's kind of it is it is what it is you know it's not really too big of a deal the reason why I said that was out of sequence is because that was actually Alva's posse number two not not the one with we just faced but that was but the one that was in the courthouse area New record, I just ate 20 sugar packets! Oh man, I'm flying! Woo! Hey, wanna race around the block 10 times or log roll down a hill or destroy something? Yeah, destroy something! Woo! Let's bring down that roof! Yes! Come on, caveman onto the ground near me from there! Fast, fast, do it, do it! And once again, these missions don't take very long at all, right here. Yeah, 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 it's breaking, it's breaking! More cavemans, more sugar! More cavemans, more sugar! Now caveman on this side! I mean, that's kind of a good thing about Santa Monica, but I'm sure that for a lot of people who actually do like Santa Monica, that was kind of disappointing that a lot of the missions don't take very long. And if I don't talk about things I'm wanting to talk about right now, I'm going to forget them. And so that's kind of why I'm kind of 
squeezing in every little moment that I can to really talk, if you will. Glitchathon! Yeah, yeah, yeah! We gotta get this thing out of here! If my mom finds out I'm toast, that would suck! That would suck! Don't worry, fellas. I know just where to take this thing. And why was the roof smoking? I didn't get that. I mean, I know it was probably like supposed to be like the debris and all that stuff. Like, no, it's supposed to be like from the rock and all that, but kind of looks more like you know somebody just set the thing on fire as opposed to actually it, you know, to it actually being you know destroyed or you know or whatever you know demoed or whatever, whatever you want to go by, whatever you want to call it. We made a large vert wall out of that Santa Monica rooftop. There are many ways to skate this thing. See if you can score big. Uh, I guess it'd be collapse of the supports, rather. Because it was the supports that, you know, made it collapse. But, yeah. That made it fall. But, yeah. Support collapse. I'll just, I'll just go by that. Let's just say it like that. Um... But actually, um, we'll be dealing with Alba's first posse in the Thanks next Joey episode. Z, we actually pulled the entire stair set back to the ranch. You'll be the first to skate it. Get a giant combo. And yeah, um, most of these, and yeah, all of these are, all of these uh, pieces are very easy to do. Because they were all just 5,000 points each. I mean, that's like... That's like lower than what the power level power level of 5000 would be in Dragon Ball Z. He's only got the power of 5000. Think oh he should be me cake. He should be cake. I don't not, I don't know if that's, what, if that's what he said really but I'm just Oh, nostalgia. Oh. How random things remind me of you. But whatever. And let's see what are we doing here. What okay, the telescope. The Grind across that tower. Once again, 5,000 point combo. Nothing too fierce. And... Of course, I decided to hold that for way longer than necessary. I don't know what kind of drugs I was on at that moment, but, you know, I eventually figure it out. I think it's going to be on this attempt right here. Or not. Okay. That, that, that's okay. Uh, maybe the next one. Okay, yeah, this is the one. Mm, boom. All right, and I was kind of surprised that I didn't already have a, the next mission, the next Mindy mission for the Sharkhead, because we did get the piece or whatever. But anyway, uh, this is gonna pretty much wrap up this episode, so I'm gonna get adjusted to the shark head there and act like I'm about to get eaten. Uh, and in the next episode, like I said, we're gonna have to deal with the Ferris wheel, um, Elvis first posse, and more stuff. So, see you later.